friends welcome back to the jar for our last week of july this month went by so fast and guess what this is our last week of our i spy theme and of our verse we've been working so hard on all summer you guys have been doing so great with the verse and now i want to do one last time with you guys you guys ready because these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And what verse is that? John 20, 31. Amazing job, you guys. We finally finished up that verse, and you guys have done so good with it. But if you remember what that verse is about, it's talking about all the stories that were written in the Bible that were put there so that we can read them and know that we can believe in Jesus and know how amazing he is. So we've been hearing some of those stories all this past summer in the last few weeks, but guess what? There's a ton more in the Bible that you can read on your own. So I hope you guys do that and continue learning about all these stories that make Jesus so amazing. But for our last story for this last week of July, we are going to learn about a very, very special place that God made for us if we believe in Jesus. Do any of you know what that very, very special place might be? If you guessed heaven, that's right! God made heaven for us if we believe in Jesus, and it's very, very special. So, I was thinking, Maybe before we go watch our Ollie video, we can make our own little special place for today. What do you guys think? Yeah, you wanna try it out? Okay, here we go. Awesome job, guys. So, now it's your turn. You guys at your home, you can go make your own very, very special place and go watch our all the video for today. Bye, you guys. See you guys next week.
That should do it. Oh, hey everyone, I'm Manny, and I did the coolest thing today. I went to the eye doctor. Can you tell me what this picture is? It was easy to see the pictures at the top of the chart, but the teeny ones at the bottom, those were harder. It was so much fun that I made my own eye chart to practice. Let's put it on the wall. Now you can practice with me too. Here's the fun part. You have to cover up one eye. Take your hand like this and cover up one eye. And hold it right there. Ready? I spy with my little eye something that is green and brown and has branches. It's a tree! You spotted it! Now let's test your other eye. Take your other hand like this and cover up your other eye and hold it right there. Ready? I spy with my little eye something that is red and means love. A heart! You did it! You spotted something on the smallest row. Great work! Ho, ho. Hey, it's Ollie! Hello, Manny. Ho, ho. Testing your vision, are you? Hi, Ollie. Sure I am. I made my own eye chart to practice seeing. That's a fun thing to do. But I've got something even better to spy. It's true. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through. Aisha and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Check out today's special. Ta-da! I call them taste like heaven because each bite is the best thing ever. <laughs> Which is exactly the true story I want to tell you today. Get your I spy eyes ready so you can help me tell the story. Awesome! If you're ready for a story on the count of three, yell tell me a story. One, Two, three, tell me a story. Raise your hand if you have ever heard about a place called heaven. Great, that is what our story is about today. A very special place called heaven. One day, Jesus was with his friends, the disciples. He told them he would be going away soon. He said he was going to a special place called heaven to get everything ready for all of the people who believed in him. He said this place was very big and it had a lot of rooms. Later, after Jesus died and came back, he visited many of his friends. Jesus wanted his friends to see that he was alive with their very own eyes. Jesus talked with them and ate food with them so they would see he is alive and believe in him. Do you see Jesus alive? Help me look for him. I spy with my little eye. Jesus is alive! While Jesus was talking and eating with his friends, he told them to go and tell everyone that he is alive and he wants to be their friend forever. Then something amazing happened. After Jesus finished talking to his friends, he went straight up into the sky through the clouds and into heaven. All of his friends saw him do it with their very own eyes. Can you see a sky with clouds? Look with me. I spy with my little eye. A sky with clouds! <laughs> While Jesus' friends were standing there looking at the sky, two angels came and asked them, why are you looking at the sky? Jesus has gone to heaven, but he'll be back. Wow, we know heaven is real because Jesus told us it is real. And we can believe Jesus because he always tells the truth. And everyone who believes in Jesus will get to be his friend forever and live with him in heaven one day. Can you see why this is one of my favorite true stories from the Bible? And Jesus is getting a place in heaven ready for everyone who believes in him. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. 
Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus has a special place with him in heaven for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus wants to be our friend forever. He's even made a special place for us in heaven one day. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you just like got it, get it? Good! I love spying fun things on my eye chart, but the most amazing thing to spy on is this, my Bible. Because the Bible teaches us that Jesus wants to be our friend forever. He's even made a special place for us in heaven one day. See you guys next time. Bye! I spy with my little eyes.